guys welcome back to my youtube today i'm going to be showing you a few things that i do to help hit my protein target so a few of the foods that i use a few little handy tips that i've picked up over the years uh, to make sure that i don't fall short on protein so there's going to be a few time lapses a few voiceover clips i'm going to show you just a few of my meals and things that i do to make sure that i hit that target so if you like this video please let me know in the comments down below and let's get into the video one of the biggest things you can do to start your protein off for the day is to make sure that you're ahead. So get a good serving of protein in the morning. So I'll either make scrambled eggs like this with some spinach and avocado, or I will make an omelet. Um, typically I'll use the egg whites and not the yolks. Now, a lot of people think that this causes a bit of wastage, but what I do is I cook the yolks for my huge German Shepherd who absolutely loves them. I also like to add in chorizo and avocado. And a lot of people will say, well, why don't you just use the yolks then? But I feel that this adds a little bit more to my meal. It makes it a little bit more tasty. All the while making sure that I'm ahead of protein for the day. So if you go the first couple of meals without high protein, um, you generally struggle during the rest of the day to meet those protein targets. So here's my omelette with chorizo, spinach and avocado and I'll weigh that out as well. Um, Oscar, I just realised, is waiting for his egg yolks because I have cooked him... <laughs> you waited? I've, I've cooked him the yolks for my eggs. So every time that I have egg whites, I give him my yolks because it's really good for his skin and his fur um however he's getting a bit impatient he knows he knows i've cooked them so i'm gonna have to give them to him what those egg yolks you do come on in sit sit good boy go in there. Another option for protein is halloumi or other types of cheeses. Now, cheese, of course, is quite high in fats, so you must be mindful of this when choosing cheese as a protein source. But I love air fried halloumi. Often I'll have it on its own just with some salsa, which is quite low calorie. If you haven't got an air fryer, then I would highly recommend one if you're looking for something to just make your meals a little bit more interesting. I love mine. So I get a lot of questions on protein powder. Is it essential to use protein powder to meet your protein macro? And the answer is no, but it's convenient and it's cheaper to get a serving of protein in from protein powder. It will give you roughly around 20 to 25 grams of protein per serving and not a great deal of fats and carbohydrates either, of course, unless you mix it with anything else. Protein powder is a really good source of protein for someone who is vegan because a lot of a vegan's protein sources are also their carbohydrate and fat sources too. So for example, beans, lentils, that sort of thing. Also a, a form of, uh, of carbohydrate, quite high in carbohydrate. Tofu, for example, also quite high in fat. To hit your higher protein target without superseding your fat and carbohydrate target, protein powder is really, really useful. For someone who eats meat, eats dairy like me, I love protein powder just for the convenience. I'm busy, it's um, a hassle cooking sometimes, and I know that I can get a good serving of protein through protein powder. So lots of you will know by now, I am a ghost sponsored athlete. I am very picky when it comes to protein powders. I am a big fan of the big dogs, the, the big brands, and nothing against smaller brands. Everyone's got to have a chance and grow in the industry. But a lot of the bigger brands I find are more developed and that therefore they taste better. So obviously Ghost, one of the biggest brands in the world. <laughs> I am blessed to be sponsored by Ghost and have um, had the privilege of trying this vegan protein. It is chocolate cereal milk. I love it. I hated every vegan protein I tried 
before this one so if you've got any other good vegan proteins comment down below because i know that that is one thing um, a lot of you struggle with is the taste of vegan proteins but i personally love this one i just blend it with water and ice ice is important because it makes it more of like a like a slushy you know and per serving of this obviously a vegan protein powder is often slightly lower in protein than a whey protein for example uh, but in one scoop you've got 20 grams of protein here six grams of carbohydrate and two grams of fat so just 120 calories per serving so here i'm just taking quite a bit of ice because i like my shakes quite thick i use water so I love to use ice to just thicken them up a bit. If you don't like quite liquidy shakes, then I would definitely recommend doing this to make them a little bit thicker. I personally think it makes them taste more like a milkshake, if you like that kind of thing. If not, you can just blend it in a shaker. Um, this flavor is chocolate cereal milk. It's the vegan one, and I love using these big cups from Starbucks. Another really useful tip is to combine foods which are high in protein with a lot of high volume food so what i mean by that is foods which are take up a lot of space on your plate but essentially are not a great amount of calories so often these are foods which are quite filling have a good amount of fiber in which will keep you fuller so for example if you have a huge great big salad uh, which is a really interesting salad with lots of green vegetables plus your protein source you're going to be feeling much fuller than if you just have say a very small side salad with just a chicken breast for example so one thing i do recommend it not it isn't necessarily a tip to increase your protein because of course it isn't protein but in order to make your high protein meals make you feel full and satisfied couple them with high volume foods and also good healthy healthy fats so good sources of healthy fats nuts seeds etc as well i often make stir fries i think that these are a great way to get lots of veggies in your diet i personally love these little packs because you can get quite a good variety but then i'll just add in some extra bulk so add in some extra asparagus or green beans it just makes them a little bit more interesting um i eat steak a lot um practically every day and i just get these thin steaks from sainsbury's because you can get about 80 80 to 100 grams of steak so not a great deal of steak per portion but i find that this is a little bit more affordable if you want to eat uh, good quality meat every day and I also use these little katsu pots which are quite macro friendly as well they're not too high in carbohydrates and I have that for my lunch most days actually so I have come to the conclusion that I'm still perfecting my protein cookies Yep, it's it's definitely burnt. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent, definitely burnt that. But still tastes pretty good. I just tried one, but I think I need to put the oven a little bit lower. The ingredients in my protein cookies is literally one scoop of ghost protein powder, one egg, one pot of almond butter. And chocolate chips and that's literally it you can put something to sweeten the cookies like flab drops or sugar-free syrup or even agar nectar um, I think I might just turn the heat on the oven down a little bit and maybe try another egg in the mixture see if that makes a difference to how kind of crumbly it is but anyway the whole point of this clip was to tell you that another tip i have for increasing your protein is to use your protein powder in things so i often cook uh, protein pancakes i have a little pan it was from amazon it's got like individual rounds on it because protein powder uh, protein powders, because protein pancakes are actually really difficult to flip if they're one big pancake so i make little mini pancakes so i've got a mini pancake pan so my tip is to use your protein powder to make protein pancakes I use one scoop of protein, one egg and 100 grams of banana, blend it up and then throw it in the pan and that's literally it, makes amazing protein pancakes and obviously 
protein cookies. If you are someone who struggles with portion control with something like cookies, then I recommend getting some Tupperwares, writing on what day each uh, batch is for or writing on what day each Tupperware is for and just like portioning and I guess meal prepping your snacks if that makes sense because I find when they're kind of in one box or on one plate it's easy to go back to them but if they're portioned out with a day on them just scribble on them with a with a pen or something make sure it's all portioned out so you can have a little sweet treat in your day and it also helps to slightly increase your protein so i have laid out my whole ocado order i haven't missed anything out including my cleaning products back there but obviously that's not going to give you any tips but hopefully this will be interesting um just this is kind of this isn't a weekly shop this is kind of like a additional shop as such so i also will go down to the shop and i'll get steak i'll get chicken i'll get um eggs i'll get like the basic sort of thing um this is kind of like my fancy shop as such does that make sense does anyone do that like a basic shop and then like a i don't know if i just do that and no one else does in which case i'm gonna look very silly but hopefully this makes sense so a good tip would be to try some high protein yogurt so this is kavag i don't know if i'm saying that right but that's just how i say it these are high protein fat free low sugar and i believe they have 15 grams of protein in one of these yogurts 15 there's only 4.7 grams of carbohydrates practically trace fat so yeah 15 grams of protein in one of these this is the blueberry and vanilla flavor I can't find this flavour in Tesco or Sainsbury's. This is just on a card. I also get the Faye True Blends. I just think they taste really nice. Um, I obviously get the plain Faye's as well. I'm not sure if I've shown you those already, but I get the plain ones of these too. Um, obviously eggs, halloumi, I've showed you that already. Chicken, apologies if you're vegan or anything, but there's chicken over there. Um, and also lots of green veggies. So these are quite, they're like my fancy things, you know, if I want to be a bit fancy, have a different, um, have a variation of a stir fry. So um, there's that. And I also like to put things in my salads too. So like beetroot and make just a really big salad. I'll put this in with that, but also top it up with some more lettuce as well. So I'll add in more lettuce. Um, I also got, which I thought was really cute, these mini cucumbers. Oh my God, how cute are they? I've never had these before. But I also got some holy guacamole, jalapeno and red pepper. And I looked at the ingredients on this online and it's really good. There's not actually that many ingredients. So if you have a look, let's focus. So avocado, 83%, jalapenos, etc. There we go. Um, we got some salsa. I love salsa. You guys know this already. A lot of sparkling water. A lot of sparkling water because I love sparkling water. I do drink normal water. I just get this with my regular shop. This is just my fancy stuff. Rice. I got some cauliflower some little moons, a few fiber one packets, which to be honest, I rarely have, but I fancy those. Um, some gym jams, which is also lower sugar spread as well. Um, so yeah, and then obviously my cleaning bits over there, which we don't need to see. So I do hope I gave you lots of useful tips in this video, guys. If you liked this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe because it really supports my very small channel. And please leave me a comment below if you want to chat to me about anything in this video. So thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.